Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about policy based management and we're just going to do a quick walkthrough of what it is and what it looks like. Uh, policy based management is a new and essential tool for DBAs in SQL Server 2008 that allows you to apply preset policies against your databases and make sure that your databases uh, comply to you know, the policies you create. Uh, policies are made up of three things. One, the policy themselves, uh, conditions, and facets. Now, facets are logical properties of uh, certain parts of SQL Server. Uh, one example I like to use is in a car, you have an engine. Uh, a facet of an engine would be horsepower, a number of valves, that sort of thing. So in SQL Server we actually have over 70 facets available to us and here you can see all the different types and underneath those facets uh, we have properties so we're just going to open up one of these so you can just take a look an example of some of the properties available to you. Uh, here you have audit level uh, where the backup directory resides, the default log, default file engine edition there's lots of things that you can go through and pick around at conditions are just that uh, your policy is going to be based on conditions uh, be aware that each policy can only contain one condition but those conditions can actually be pretty complex and you can actually uh, put more than one uh, condition within that condition. Sounds a little kooky but we'll take a look at it later. Finally you have your actual policy which is kinda your wrapper that uh, contains everything here. So we're gonna open up one of these policies just to take a look at it. And this particular policy ensures that your databases are set to the simple recovery model. So we're gonna examine the particular condition here uh, by clicking on the ellipsis and the simple recovery model mode uh, the facet that we're looking at is the database facet and down here we have different expressions uh, this drop down menu gives you all the fields this drop down is actually dynamically created uh, depending on the facet that you choose uh, in this policy we're looking specifically at the recovery model property and over here you have numeric operators. Again, this drop down is dynamically created by SQL Server. Uh, so in this case, you only have certain options. You can do equal, greater than, less than, equal to. Uh, and then finally, the value is the expected value that you want for your policy. So in this case, we expect our value to be simple. Uh, if you click on the drop down you can see that you are given the options of full or bulk log which are the other recovery models available in SQL Server. So we're going to go down to OK and here we see the targets. This targets every database. Now be aware that every database means every user database. This does not include the system database such as master model MSDB or tempdb down here you have your evaluation mode your policies can either be on demand or you can set them to run at set intervals uh, depending on the type of policy you will also see uh, policies that can actually dynamically trigger depending on an action and we'll open up another policy to take a look at that you can also set server restrictions if you look here, the server restriction is nothing more than looking at an, another condition. So here you can set it to only apply to enterprise or standard editions, uh, standard editions only, or you can create your own. We're just going to keep it at none for now. Over here on the left, there's a description field, and you can actually categorize your policies. So in this case, we're just going to keep it in a default field but there are other options available here. There are Microsoft best practices. These are pre-built uh, categories 
because I have other uh, best practice policies already in my server but I can create my own categories and I can actually logically subscribe to certain categories of policies if I wish here you can put a description of what the policy is so this policy um, make sure databases are in simple recovery model now here uh, it's you're able to display text to any user that runs a policy that if they trigger the policy to deny them they're gonna see this text up on screen and you can also provide them with a URL so for instance if they violate a certain naming policy that you have the policy will actually stop what they're doing roll back the transaction and display the text saying uh, please follow the policy and you can send your users a URL as to you know where where the company policy resides so if you press OK you can see that the simple mode here we're gonna right click and just go to evaluate and what that's gonna do is that's going to evaluate the policy against the server that it resides on so here we can see which databases passed our policies and which one didn't so we expand this column here we can see three out of four of my databases are not in simple recovery mode what recovery mode are they in? Well, if you click on View Details, it'll actually tell you the expected value was simple, but that database is actually in full mode. Let's say we don't want that in full mode. We want it in simple mode. To make it comply to your policy, simply check this box here and click Apply. SQL Server tells you you're about to make a change on the database. Are you sure? So in this case, we're just going to click yes. And right away, SQL Server turn, turns that database in the simple mode for you. So now that uh, database is in compliance with your policy. And that's it for a quick look at policy-based management. I'm Jorge Zaguerra. Thank you.